Um, but first, uh, I want to introduce how kind of it's done. Okay, so my so basically, after um, my research uh, at Corey Children's Hospital, right? I was also um, uh, shadowing doctors for a couple months there, um, and you know when I saw people coming in with sickle cell disease and they just there just weren't enough medications. Um, I really kind of wanted to help out in terms of the um, therapeutic aspect, kind of wanted to, you know, find a cure. And this is what led me to um, uh, research uh, genetic engineering, uh, the sickle cell mutation. So this is an innovative genomics institute, um, <clears throat> which is headed by uh, Jennifer Doudna, right? She won the Nobel Prize for CRISPR. For Cas9, which has so many therapeutic effects for genetic diseases, like it is, it is crazy. There's so many things being done for cancer, um, for uh, sickle cell now. Um, so it's a huge avenue that's that's really really new. So I, I want you all to kind of understand it um, and uh, see what reper repercussions it, it, it lies with as well. Okay. So, awesome. um, so CRISPR-Cas9, uh, this is very, very, too, it's too scientific. So I just wanted to kind of uh, uh, just talk about like how it's done briefly without getting too scientific. Okay. So uh, this right here, right, is your DNA. Um, <clears throat> this and this. So what happens with CRISPR-Cas9, okay, it's a system, it's a protein. Um, that uh, with an sgRNA, okay, this sgRNA, this gRNA right here is made by researchers, okay? So this is the therapeutic part that kind of is a, is a code, okay? So DNA is a code. So this binds to the code that you want to edit, okay? And it can be any code, right? So in this particular uh, one, it was uh, the sickle cell mutation for us. So we created uh, a genetic code that would bind to this DNA at the sickle cell mutation site, right? And cut it, right? It was, um, you cut that T to a regular A. So the, the disease-free state, right? You want normal, healthy, um, you want to turn that mutation into a normal gene. So using this uh, gRNA that we make, um, and this Cas9 protein, it cuts the sickle cell mutation site, okay? And then once we cut it, we add um, a gene in there um, because if we don't, the DNA freaks out. If we cut it, the DNA is like, oh, what just happened? Um, I'm going to try to repair myself, right? DNA, uh, that's how cancer is caused, right? DNA, something happens and the DNA freaks out and it wants to correct itself and it corrects it wrong. So so the DNA freaks out, right? And if we don't put in anything there, if we don't put a DNA sequence there, what will happen is we'll have a mutation again. We can have deletions. Um, so it's more kind of, um, it gets like, uh, it's a little bit sticky of a situation. So what we do is we cut it and then we insert a DNA sequence in there uh, that is of normal and um, the gene doesn't correct itself and it's, it's just there, right? It just kind of binds together. Um, so that's kind of how uh, it's made, okay? And my, um, my objective was, so there are many ways to kind of uh, use sickle cell engineering. There's so many technical ways of doing it, um, but what we want to do is we want to optimize it, right? We want to optimize it so that once we make um, a cut, okay, once we make a cut, we want to make sure that most of the cells uh, have that mutation, or sorry, have that, um, uh, have that gene corrected, okay? So there are many ways of doing it. The goal is to optimize it and come up with the best possible way. 